Hello everyone, my name is Amy and I'm going to show you a very simple way of texturing this 3D model of a flower to look 2D using the Toon shader in Maya. I'm using the 2016 version of Maya but it should be more or less the same for other versions as well. So we have our 3D model of a flower here and before we do anything just make sure you're on the rendering menu. Click on the part of your model that you want to texture and then at the top toolbar select Tune and then select Assign Fill Shader. I'm going to select Shaded Brightness to Tone and this will add a ramp shader to your model. So you can see there's two colors, a light and a dark. You can change each color. I'm gonna select blue for the dark shade and keep the rest of it white. And you can see when you scroll around, the texture reacts to the lighting in Maya. Right now it's on the default lighting, but I'll show you what happens when you add a spotlight soon. So next I want to make the eyes and mouth a solid black colour. So I'm going to go back to assign fill shader and select solid colour at the top. Go to your attribute editor and change the colour to black and you can see it's just a solid flat black. Next we're going to do the leaves and the petals. I want the leaves to be green. So select all of your leaves and same again as the face, assign fill shader, shaded brightness to tone and in the attribute editor change the shade color to a dark green and the leaf color to a lighter green. And you can see when you move the model around, the shade reacts to the lighting in Maya. So now we're going to do the back petals. And this time for something different, I'm going to select the three tone shader. Now the front petals, I want them to be yellow, so select all of them and going back to the two-tone shader, change your shade and light colours to a dark and light yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to add a light to show you how the shader reacts to it. So create a spotlight and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see it, move it around to where we want it. And then do a render test. Mine set to Maya software renderer at the moment and the image size is HD540 so it renders a bit quicker and you can see where the spotlight hits your character is where it's brightest and anything around it is your shade colour. So if you move the angle around and render again you can see mostly your shade colours. So we'll get rid of the light for now. Uh, if you don't like the harsh line between your shade and light colors, you can go back to your attribute editor and change the interpolation to spline or spleen. And that will blend the colors nicely. And you can change where the colors meet as well. So 
So I'm going to do the same to some petals to show you what that looks like and render. and you can see your character looks a bit softer. I'm going to change it back because I like the hard line. Okay, so our character is looking pretty good. Now for the fun part, uh, creating a black line so it looks like it's been hand drawn. So select your character. I'm going to deselect the eyes and the mouth because they're already black and they don't need a line. Go back up to Tune in the top toolbar and select Assign Outline and then Add New Tune Outline. And there you go, your character has an outline. You can change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it black. You can change the thickness. That looks crazy. And there's loads of settings you can play with to make it look however you want. Same with the ramp shader, you can play with the transparency and reflectivity, anything you want to make your character unique, you just have to play around with it. Now I'm going to do a better render. Check your render settings. Mine's on Maya software. I'm going to change the quality to production quality and have a look at it from a few different angles. It's still a 3D character, but when you render it, it looks like a nicely drawn 2D character and you don't have to continually draw it at different angles. You can just change the perspective view in Maya. I'm going to change the background so you can see the lines better, change it to blue. And there you go. I'm going to change the image size to 1080 and render. And that's it. That is how you make a 3D character look like a 2D character using the Toon Shader in Maya. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Thank you.